Hello, and thank you for watching this preview video for my distinguished microwave lecture on distributed phase arrays. I'm Jeff Nanzer. I'm an associate professor at Michigan State University. My lecture will discuss the challenges involved in enabling distributed phase coherence between separate wireless platforms to support distributed beamforming, as well as recent research developments on microwave wireless systems supporting phase coherent wireless coordination between separate platforms. I'll also show recent results of my group's work on distributed phased arrays through the demonstration of distributed microwave beamforming systems. Finally, I'll discuss open challenges in distributed phased arrays and some opportunities for new research areas that are enabled by distributed arrays. There's been significant research devoted to the development of distributed microwave wireless systems in recent years. The progression from large single platform wireless systems to collections of smaller coordinated systems on separate platforms enable significant benefits for radar, remote sensing, communications, and other wireless applications. The ultimate level of coordination between platforms is at the wavelength level, and this is where separate platforms operate as a coherent system. Wireless coherent distributed systems are essentially distributed phased arrays, and these yield a, a significant number of benefits over tradi traditional single platform arrays, including enhanced signal gain achieved from the aggregate signal power on transmit, the directivity achieved on both transmit and receive, increased reliability since there is no single point of fa failure. If a node fails or suffers interference, the distributed array operation degrades gracefully. Scalability and capabilities are afforded by including more nodes in the array. Distributed arrays are also adaptable to changing conditions or requirements, and they afford greater spatial diversity, which can yield narrower directed beams or greater spatial resolution. Coordinating the operations of nodes in a distributed array requires accurate control of the relative electrical states of the nodes. Fundamentally, the signals emitted by a distributed phased array must arrive at the destination aligned in time and in phase. And to ensure that the signal maintains a high gain over time, they must be at the same frequency. Generally, the impacts of improper coordination manifest as a degradation in the coherent signal gain, which can be appreciable over time. An example shown here at the bottom shows the relative change in the main beam of a four node distributed array as a function of relative phase errors. For the main beam shape and the gain begins to degrade after errors of 25 degrees or so. In my lecture, I'll discuss in detail the requirements on coordinating the relative phases, frequencies, and timings of nodes in a distributed array and the impact of errors in that coordination. Topolo topologies supporting wireless phase coherent coordination are an active area of research. Generally, we can categorize distributed arrays into open loop and closed loop topologies, referring to whether the destination provides active feedback or inputs to the array in order to help the coordination process. Closed loop topologies operate with more information than open loop topologies since they're getting feedback from the destination. And so they require less coordination and less control in order to achieve a phase coherent state. However, the necessity of the feedback from the destination rules out applications like remote sensing or radar, where feedback, if it is present, is generally not sufficient to aid in the coordination process. Open loop distributed arrays, in contrast, self align without feedback from the destination. And so any wireless operation is possible, including remote sensing. However, considerably more coordination must be implemented for these topologies. Coordination requirements can be relaxed significantly in some cases, such as with receive-only arrays, where much of the coordination can be implemented in post-processing. In the lecture, I'll discuss these general topologies, uh, others that are prevalent in the literature, and discuss their relative benefits and drawbacks. Achieving the necessary coordination requirements can be challenging. Supporting accurate phase alignment for beam steering necessitates highly accurate estimation of the relative positions of the nodes in the array, down to a fraction of a wavelength. I'll discuss recent advances in microwave technologies that my group has developed to address these fundament fundamental coordination challenges. These include high accuracy internode ranging systems that can obtain sub-millimeter ranging accuracy using spectrally sparse waveforms, along with wireless frequency synchronization circuits. One of the unique aspects of coordination in distributed arrays is that is, it is a cooperative operation. So the nodes can actively retransmit signals with high gain and with information modulated onto the waveforms. I'll discuss how we leverage these aspects to achieve simultaneously simultaneous frequency synchronization and high accuracy ranging, and how these can be directly implemented in microwave hardware or in software-defined radio. We've developed a number of solutions to the fundamental coordination challenges in distributed phased arrays, and we've used these to demonstrate the first open-loop distributed beamforming systems. Importantly, the coordination approaches must work when the nodes are in relative motion. 
And so I'll show a number of experimental systems we've developed that are able to achieve and maintain phase coherent beam forming when there is relative motion between the nodes. The system shown here at the top is coordinated completely wirelessly. It estimates the relative change in inner node range to update its transmission phase and maintains a steered beam to a receiver, which in this case is only measuring the received power. A signal is modulated onto this ranging waveform that the secondary node demodulates and uses to lock its local oscillator to that of the other node. And so in this way, we achieve simultaneous ranging and frequency transfer. The phase difference imparted by the movement of the platforms impacts both the beam steering phase and the phase of the frequency reference since it's traveling a greater distance when the nodes are further apart. But our ranging approach estimates the distance with sufficient accuracy to correct both of these phase errors. And this results in a consistent high power transmission, which can be seen at the top right in the blue line. As I noted earlier, specific topologies can support distributed beam forming with less information. And an example here is a repeater enabled system where only the range and angle of the nodes is required to support distributed beam forming. What we show here is the ability to boost or null a communications transmission with no connections at all between the repeater and the transmitting system. I'll discuss these uh, systems in detail and others in my lecture. The research done by my group and others provide solutions to many of the fundamental challenges in distributed arrays. However, there are main challenges and open questions in the development of distributed uh, phased arrays. For example, distributed arrays are inherently sparse, typically yielding a large number of grading lobes. So dealing with the impact of energy being transmitted in many directions and not just in the desired main beam is a challenge. But along with these challenges, there are a number of very exciting opportunities enabled by distributed arrays, principally from their highly distributed nature. For example, rather than trying to mitigate the energy sent in a wide number of directions through the grading lobes, I'll discuss research done in my group that aims to, to leverage the presence of grading lobes for new applications in wireless systems. I'll discuss how highly distributed apertures support, support multidimensional radar measurements to improve object tracking. Here on the top left, I show the measurements from a millimeter wave two element system that simultaneously measures Doppler and angular velocity, which is supported by a highly distributed aperture. By adding dynamics into the system, the radiation pattern of the distributed array can be used to implement directional modulation. And this can be used for secure wireless operations as I show here on the top right. Another challenge is scalability. How do we coordinate arrays of more than just a few nodes? I'll discuss our recent work on distributed coordination that can support arrays of hundreds of nodes or more and how the use of these techniques informs the design of the microwave systems that supports them. Thank you for watching this preview video and I hope to see you at my lecture.